Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the American Sports Connection. I'm your host, the one and only Joey Railroads. I'm here with a very special guest today, Mr. Jeff Cannonball. Jeff, how you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm doing well, man. Trying to adjust to this crazy New Jersey weather where one day it's fall and then the next day it feels like the swamp of New Orleans. Right. It's it's been absurd lately. Oh my God, I know. I, I just want fall and it looks like we're just gonna get from summer straight to winter. Yeah, right. But I'm having you on because you and your uh, lovely girlfriend have actually uh, put together a benefit for one uh, Matt Tremont for those that aren't on a you know aware of why. Um, I think it was uh, it was in August or the end of July. Um, Matt had an issue uh, medically with his elbow that I, I think it was in almost two weeks, right, Jeff? Yeah, it was it was um in August. It was right before the Onita show at CZW. Okay. And he ended up getting getting an infection in his arm and he ended up having to stay in the hospital for you know much longer than I think you know anybody obviously plans for. And uh, it left him with way too many hospital bills as you know as anybody who n lives in America knows you know our healthcare is crazy and it costs an arm and a leg almost literally to go to the hospital. So Matt, you know, ended up with all these different bills that kind of came out of nowhere that you can't really prepare for. So we're trying to help him out. It's, you know, me and Tara Calloway are doing it with the help of uh, the Funkensteins. They run the scene wrestling store over in the English Town Flea Market. And we're just trying to do something, raise a little bit of money to help him out with those hospital bills. Cause, yeah, you know, that's that sucks, awesome, you know? man. Because like you said, if you have ever been in the hospital or had... God, even like blood work or a test, you know that it's like ridiculously expensive. <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's absurd, and I know he's got. I, f I forget honestly how much it was. Um, I'm trying to remember honestly. I'm not going to remember. I'm sorry about that, but it's it's crazy, and I honestly I don't think we're going to be able to raise enough to cover it completely. But you know, to get a nice chunk out of it, I think would be an awesome deal. Absolutely, just do what you know, do what everybody can. Um, so you guys yeah. are gonna run a show. It's uh, first come, first serve. Uh, no, no advances, no reserves. All tickets are sold at the door, obviously, because you know there's potentially going to be a lot of people. And uh, you actually got some pretty cool uh, matches on here because I'm sitting here looking at the card. Uh, as I'm uh, talking to you, um, I'll, I'll go through it real quick. This is one I'm actually really looking forward to. Is that, and I, I, I like the name. <clears throat> excuse me, the name for it: the Total Elimination Doors Match. <laughs> sure. With um, the yeah, that'll be fun one. Uh, Stockade and G Raver versus the Storm of Entrails. Uh, Big Scare, Dan O'Hare, and Schlack. Right. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. I mean, they've done, they've like teased it a whole lot in other places, but they've never actually had a match where it's just those two versus those two. You know what I mean? Like they were supposed to do it and then it would turn into something else and a whole other segment would break out or, or they did. We'll get the, we'll get to see the actual awakening tag team versus storm entrails. Just there you go. Um, and then, yeah, why not throw a little violence in there, add a couple doors, and make it so we have as much as possible. Yeah, because um, I've seen them, I think it was CZW, they were supposed to in August, and then it turned into a, a three-way tag, and somewhere else, I right. mean, too. And uh, I, I'm excited for it, because when you see those four names, you're like, oh, that's just going to be a fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Schlack is Schlack, so you know, no matter what, it's going to be something absurd. And Dan O'Hare is super talented and he's super uh, versatile. And then you throw him in there with Stockade, who's just one of the best big dudes on the Indies right now. And G Raver, who's he's my favorite opponent to have, so I like watching anything he does. So putting the four of them together and letting them just go out and do what they can for Matt will be awesome, I think. Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you a quick uh, Raver story. When I saw him 
I think it was at the last show at the Skate Zone in September where I had congratulated him because he won, um, I think it was VOW, their deathmatch uh, tournament. And he goes, oh, yeah. huh? he goes, uh, they had to pull a big chunk of glass out of my back. I said, oh, well, I'm sorry to hear it. He goes, oh, yeah, here, look at the thing. And he pulls up his side to show me where they pulled it out of. I was like, oh, dude, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm still pulling glass out of me. I was I was on that show, I was in that match, and there's still glass in me somewhere. Holy cow. <laughs> Speaking A lot of, of which, like you for you. You are wrestling in a gusset plate Taipei death match with one low life Louis Ramos. Yes. Um you know, me and Louis we we Matt booked me and Louie uh, for the first time at uh, On Point, and we, we absolutely killed each other. It's one of my favorite matches. I know it's Louie's like, favorite match he's ever had, which is crazy to me because you look at who he's wrestled, and that's absurd. But, um, you know, we figured for Louie's benefit show that Matt ran, he put me versus Matt. So for, for Matt's show, we're going to do me versus Louie. Um, we're doing the Taipei thing, which is usually the glass on the hands, but we decided to get a little sillier, and we're replacing it the glass instead with uh, gusset plates attached to our fists and then we were going to swing for the fences on each other like a couple of lunatics and probably bleed buckets for Matt. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting uh, tw twist on it, I guess you would say. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be something. So I'm, I'm excited about it. It's going to it's going to suck. <laughs> It's gonna hurt so bad, but you're excited. I love like two days later. You're gonna be like, "My God, what was I thinking?" <laughs> oh yeah, a hundred percent. Because when so I saw we'll it, see. I was I mean, like, "Huh, I wonder how they're gonna pull that one off." <laughs> yeah, well, I did it once before with Tank, and uh, it was it was brutal, and it was very painful. And Louie's down to do whatever, so I pitched it to to Louie, and he was all about it. So. We'll get crazy. Well, that's cool. We'll bring some, you know, it's a show. it's a show for Matt. There's got to be something violent on it, so we're gonna yeah, do he wouldn't have it any other way. Just tear. Exactly. All right, next so we're gonna just tear each other apart. No, yeah. All right, next we have TJ Marconi going up against Monster Mac. Yeah. Um. You know, it's not a secret. Matt's booking that Haas show. He's a big fan of watching big dudes just go at it. So we figured, why not take two guys from that tournament? I, with with Matt's permission, took two guys from that tournament, and we'll give a little preview for that show. Um, they're not going to wrestle each other in that tournament, at least not in the first round. So it's going to be kind of like, a, hey, here's come see this, and then H2O is going to do their 305 Haas tournament. Come see that and get the full experience of it. You know what I mean? It's like it's a preview match. Yeah. And that's a and no matter of, what. Uh, that's a hell of a preview. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, Monster Mac has known Matt forever. Um, Matt credits Mac actually with the whole invention of uh, Japan is scared. So we, we had to have Mac on, and TJ loves Matt just as much as the rest of us do. He's a big dude. Matt's a big fan of his, so. We figure that's a good good Haas fight to throw on there. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, next, we have one. Right. Apparently, this has never been done or seen anywhere yet. Is uh, Tony Deppen one-on-one -on -one against Joe Gacy. Right. And that's actually – that's crazy to me. Like, those two seem like that's an obvious match to make, and that's a, that's going to be a great match. Um, so when we're – talking about it, me and uh, Dan from Funkenstein, we were talking about possible matches, and he pitched that, and I was like, I don't know if that's ever happened. And so I hit them both up, and both of them told me, like, that match has never ever happened before, so it's weird to me that that hasn't happened. That seems like it should have happened, you know, plenty of times. I feel like that's going to be a natural, great match. So I'm, I'm glad that we got to have it. Yeah, that was my, when I first saw that, too. I said the same thing. I'm like, they've never wrestled? <laughs> Right? It's, it's, it's weird. It just like, seemed you would, like a natural know, it's just crazy. kind of fit. Exactly. So I'm I'm happy to be able to bring that together. And, you know, uh, you know, Matt's done a lot for Tony Depp and Gacy's done a lot for Matt. So I feel like that's just a perfect <sighs> match in, in all sense of whether they're going to have a great match. And for Matt, I think it works out perfectly. Oh, absolutely. 
All right. Um, next, there's a women's tag match with Maria Manic and Brooke Daniel versus Amy Lee and Tara Calloway. Yeah, and um, that's going to be if if we got TJ and and Marconi given the hoss fight. I'm mean, sorry, TJ and Mac with the the men's hoss fight. That's just going to be a bunch of hoss women just killing each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, anytime Amy's in a ring, it's something crazy is going to happen. It's entertaining. Um, I'll, of course, I got to put over Tara. You know, she's just been killing it lately, and she's been going, traveling a lot more, and like doing her thing. So it's real cool to see. So putting them together against Maria Manic, who is she's improving faster than I think anybody I've ever seen uh, in ring, and like she's got her strength is unreal right now. Like if you haven't seen her in a, in a little bit, like even if you haven't seen her like in the past month or two, you're missing out on something. Like she's just going hard. And then Brooke Danielle, I'm a big fan of hers and uh she's always fun. She's she's always getting hurt somewhere and then she's just she's resilient as fuck and she keeps coming back and killing it. So mm -hmm. it's it, I'm happy to have her. Yeah, I, I agree with you. This is just gonna they're all gonna kill it. And I, I completely agree with you about Maria Manic. If you haven't seen her recently, she's just Oh, like, um, I, I don't even know how to put it into words. She's just taking it to another level. Right, really. Um, and the last one I have here uh, for now, unless there's more you could tell me about, is uh, I actually remember this. This is a dojo rematch. DJ Hyde versus Jimmy yeah. Lyon. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about, about that one. Um. Jimmy Lloyd, I'm sorry, Jimmy Lyon has a weird death wish, uh, it seems. And uh, I don't know if you saw, he just put out a promo. It's on his Facebook. Pretty much begging DJ to just kill him. Oh, uh, no. We and, gave him a concussion the last time. Yeah, and, and Jimmy wants more. And I don't know, man. Jimmy, I've beat the hell out of Jimmy, and he doesn't stop. And he seems to like it. And he wants more of it with DJ. And... DJ's a dickhead, so he's going to give it to him, and I don't understand why they want to do this, but I'm going to let them have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's, uh, I don't know how, man. He's just like, I guess, the Energizer Bunny. You know, just keeps going. <laughs> and Jimmy Lyon is just a, he's a different kind of person. <laughs> That's a very interesting way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm looking forward to that too because you and I both know that DJ won't let up. <laughs> now and and who knows how that's going to go? <laughs> no, but no. Absolutely. I look forward to it. You know, it'll be it'll be violent and probably a little bit dumb in the, all the best ways. So yeah. <laughs> Now, from what I understand, because uh, yeah. we, we had talked about this off air, Jeff, there's a, um, I don't know if it, it's a GoFundMe or whatever, a crowdfunding page. Yeah. I don't remember exactly. Uh, I had seen it up online for Matt, like if you were unable to uh, physically be there th this coming Sunday. Um, you said you would uh, have to contact Amy Lee uh, in regards to that. Well, yeah, there's two different GoFundMe's going, and they're both 100% legit. Um, one is being run by Amy Lee, and she shares it constantly. So if you if you find her on Facebook, you'll see it. Um, I repost it all the time. And then the uh, Dan and Heather from the Funkin' Scene Wrestling Superstar, I'm sorry, Superstore, they have one as well. Um, both 100% legit. Both will all be given to Matt. Um, I've talked to both of them about this. Dan and Heather helped me out with the show tremendously. Um, and to find those, you could just go to their Facebook page, which is just Funkenstein uh, Superstore. And again, I share it all the time. If you can't make it, that's a great place to do it. 100% um, of that is going towards Matt. 100% of the show was going towards Matt. You know, it's it's all getting right to him, and I've known Matt for years. Like, I, I, I'm i happy to give back to him, and I'm happy to, you know, it's, it's our way of saying thank you, and at the same time, you know, sorry you're stuck in this shitty deal, but here's what we can do to help you. You know what I mean? 
Absolutely. A, you know, it's always a great way to give back because Matt has given back, you know, when Louie was in, you know, has helped countless others. So, yeah. you, you know, it's help him when he needs it in his time of need. So if uh, it's this coming Sunday right. at uh, 2 p.m., correct? Yes, sir. 2 p.m. doors will open. Um, you know, we'll probably start the show right at 3, if not, you know, right around there. Um um, Williamstown, New Jersey, at the uh, OTW building, um, also known as the Kevin Hogan Hall, which actually, um, we posted a little bit about this, it's kind of just newer, um, Kevin Hogan's mom actually reached out to us, and to help out, she's going to come, and they're going to sell a lot of Kevin's old stuff, because he's got so much stuff, so they're going to have a table on the, the inside and the outside, because he was such a dedicated fan, that's how much he had. And they want to try to sell a little bit of it, and all the all the money made from that is going directly to Matt. Um, Mrs. Hogan hit me up; she was all about doing this, and I, you know, whatever can help, that's awesome. And I think I think it's cool that you know Kevin Hogan would want to give back as well. So this is kind of a way for him to do it, even if you know he can't be with us. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's awesome. Right. So, and on top of that, I know um, the Funkin' scenes are setting up some raffles. There'll be other things going on. And it's going to be a good time. Like, it'll be violent. It's not going to be a, a PG benefit show. You know, it's going to be what Matt would want. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Right. But but uh, that's going to do it. I think Jeff for everything. Anybody that could come out. Come out, help support if you can. Um, I'm going to share this with uh, all the companies that Matt's uh, working for or has worked for. Hopefully, they can get it all, you know, all over social media and uh, you know get a buzz going. Yeah, and there's going to be a few other matches, uh, some stuff that we haven't announced yet because we want to keep it fun and surprise and you know. So there'll, there'll be other matches there, uh, but we're keeping some of it quiet. You know, it's got to be come. You got to come to see it. Absolutely, you want to leave a little uh, surprise for everybody. Right, exactly. So keep people guessing. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. All right. On that note, we're gonna get out of here for today. Don't forget to like, comment subscribe share give it a thumbs up all that good stuff and we'll see you back next time have a good day everybody